Bumper here and today I'm gonna to show you how to um how to do the Kamehameha effect in Final Cut Pro 7 or Final Cut Express. Okay. First of all, import your clip. I got my clip right here. Sorry about that. Okay, I got my clip. So find the point at which you want to uh do the Kamehameha. I got mine. Then you're gonna go over to this tab right here. You're gonna go right here. You're gonna click that. Go down. Go to matte. Go to color solid. So you click here. Go to click on this button right here. Go to matte color solid. Now you'll be right here. You go to controls, change your colors, try red this time. Go to video, drag it right where you want it, shorten it to where it ends. And now you're going to put another one a little bit after. So go ahead and adjust it to it and then move it back a tad. I don't know. Yeah, just do it like that because that's where the beam is going to go. Okay, next you go to video filters, matte, and then mask shape for both. One mask shape, another, whoops, let me just shorten that. Uh, mask feather, mask feather, okay. Now that you're going to double click the first one, it'll open up in your editor or your viewer. Go to filters, go to oval, because you know that's probably the shape, and wait, let's just... Adjust it right there. Okay, that's how it's gonna look. So start adjusting your, uh, your, until you get just about right. I think that's good. Scoot it back. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's just I want to show you guys the beam, and then you're gonna go to your soft. This is the coolest part. This makes it look like a kamehameha. There a little bit. Okay. Next, you double click this one. It's gonna open up in your viewer. See right now, it's here back to the square same thing but keep it a rectangle and make it a beam yeah I'm not gonna need it that much I don't think there we go and then click soft make it look like a beam perfect perfect and now as you can see Oh yeah, sequence, render all, about to render, and there you go. That's how you do the Kamehameha effect in Final Cut Pro 7. Next video is going to be how to do the gunshot effect, muzzle flash, etc. Hope you guys are liking these videos. Hope they're helping.